fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. When the western United States was first opened to settlers, outlaws roamed the territory, and some of the bands became so powerful that they openly defied the local sheriffs. It was during this period that the masked rider of the plains started his fight for law and order. No greater champion of justice can be found in the pages of history, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early west itself. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Mesquite City! Oh, Silver! Away! <laughs> Heavy set men, one wearing the badge of a sheriff and the other that of a deputy, opened the door of Sheriff Sayers' office at Mesquite City and. Sheriff Sayers? Come in, come in. I reckon you're expecting me, Sheriff. Yes. I wrote you from Millsburg two weeks ago. Said I'd be along after this fellow Jacobs you're holding. You're Sheriff Wilson from Catoga County. Uh huh, that's me. This here's Jim, my deputy. Uh, still hanging on to Jacob? <laughs> sure am. Here, sit down and rest yourself. Oh, thanks. Uh, here's my credentials in case you'd like to look them over. If they satisfy you, we'll talk business. <laughs> Shucks, I can tell more just from looking at you than from all the papers ever was writ. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. They're in order. But like I said, you've got the look of a lawman, and that's something can't be faked. <laughs> I reckon after fighting crooks for a spell, it does something to us. It can't just put it in words, but it mocks you somehow. <laughs> can't say it ever struck me before, Sheriff, but I guess you're right. Well, uh, when do you want Jacobs? Tomorrow sometime? Uh, no. Huh? Well, we're heading right back. Without even resting up? After riding all the way from Millsburg? Uh, wait over and we're likely to run into trouble. Trouble? How? Well, that's something I aim to tell you about. There's a chance you can get yourself some reward money. Yeah? Uh, how'd you like to catch Buck Wheeler? Catch Buck? Hey, what's that you said? <laughs> Thought that'd rouse you. <laughs> oh, you're joking. Yeah, like blazes I am. I meant just what I said. There's a good chance Buck will be calling on you for long. Calling on me? No, he will if Jim and me really tricked him like we figured we did. Uh, I don't savvy. Buck Wheeler tried to dry gulch your sheriff. No. Jim's telling the truth. He'd have got us too if his horse hadn't whinnied at the wrong time. But he didn't. And instead we captured one of the men with him and made the fellow talk. So you see, Buck Wheeler. Yeah. What's he look like? Is he as tough looking as I've heard? You know what he reminds you of? 
What? A fella that had jump at his own shadow. Uh, he sure ain't got that reputation. He's short and he's got a round red face with a nose set right in the middle of it that ain't no bigger than a button. <laughs> he don't look like nothing at all. Which just goes to show how looks can fool you. But how do you mean I got a chance to catch him? Well, I said we took one of his men prisoner. Uh -huh. Well, we made him tell what Buck was scheming. You see this fella you're holding, uh, Jacobs, he's one of Buck's men. And Buck has made the boast that no man of his can ever be held by the law. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. Well, if Buck had dry gouged us like he planned, he'd have stole our papers and come here pretending to be us. The savvy? Well, of all a blasted crust. The uh, fact is, Jacobs is expecting Buck. When he sees I got through, he's going to be plumb surprised. Uh, I'll bet he will. Now, when we captured Buck's man, we made as though we were heading back to Millsburg with him. Then when we got out of sight, I sent him on with another deputy I had along. Then me and Jim come here like we intended. Uh, for all Buck knows, we won't be here for another couple of days. Uh-huh. So there's just a chance, Sheriff, that Buck will try a scheme even without this identification he aimed to steal. Well, I'm not saying he will, but it'll be just like him. And if he thought I hadn't got here yet, he'd count on you not suspicioning that any fella would try such a bold-faced bluff. Oh, shucks, even Buck wouldn't have the nerve for a stunt like that. Well, I thought you ought to be warned. Yeah, thanks, but it weren't necessary. <laughs> he wouldn't fool me. I can tell crooks just as easy as I can tell a lawman. I can name the one or the other right off. That must come in real handy. I'm <laughs> sure it does. Well, I'm well, sorry to sound in a hurry, Sheriff, but, but I think the sooner we get started back with Jacobs, the less likely we'll run into trouble on the way. So if you'll bring him out... Oh, I'll... sure, sure. Just wait right there. I'll fetch him. Hi there, Jacobs. Here's the fellow come to get you. <laughs> uh, get that grin off your face, you fool. <laughs> I'd act like it was a deputy on business, even if he ain't. Honest, I can't hardly keep from laughing, boss. You hear how he said he could tell a crook from a lawman without half trying? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what he'll say when he finds out how he was tricked. It'd be worth hearing. Wouldn't it, though? <laughs> and up. I, I think hmm? they're coming. Keep on going. They're in the office there. Well, there's you, Wilson. I was hoping you... Buck. Buck Wheeler. Huh? Sheriff, this ain't Wilson from Millsburg. This fella's Buck Wheeler. What the devil are you that? That is Buck. If he's told you he's Sheriff Wilson, he's lied to you. Well, he's I'll under... be switched. Jam, throw the cuffs on it. Right. No, let go of me. Players, grab these fellas. They're crooks, I tell you. They're crooks. Oh, they're... You can't do that. Let go, you cracking that old hole. Hey, what's going on here? Well, don't you see it, Sheriff? Don't you recollect I told you he'd be expecting Buck here instead of me? He's just claiming I'm Buck so it's to stall for time. He wants to give his pods a chance to get here. No, Sales, you gotta believe me. They're the ones that... Huh? This fella's one of Buck's men, ain't he? Yeah. Then if I was Buck, he wouldn't be likely to say so, would he? No, by gravy, he wouldn't. But I ain't one of Buck's men. I just pretended to be to get the goods on his gang. I'm a United States Marshal. The Reeves Sheriff Wilson knows who I am. That's why he was gonna come here to get me. Mighty Sim. But you gotta believe me. Take him outside, Jim, and put him aboard the spare horse. Come along, you. Players! No, wait, they'll kill me. They'll kill me to keep you from telling what I know. Blast her, quit, wait. They'll kill me. They'll kill me, Sheriff. They'll kill me. Well, I'll be blasted. You ever see a fella try to run a bluff like that before? If he was a marshal, he'd have told me about it before. Oh, you ain't thinking for one minute he is, are you? Well, I should say not. But I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. That polecat's slick. If you want to get him to Millsburg, you better watch him close. You think I won't? <laughs> Don't you worry, Chef. You've seen Jacobs for the last time. At the same time, 15 miles from Mesquite City and far from the main trails, two men were waving their arms and shouting at the top of their voices. Hi there! Over here! Hey! Help! Help! Over here! Hi there! Ah, uh, bastard, can't they hear us? Hello there! Hello! Wait, huh? That done it. Look, they're 
they did. Help! Help! Hey! Over here! Yeah, they're coming. Golly, who'd have thought we'd find horsemen in this part of the country? I don't know what they're doing here, but blame lucky for us they come along. Come on, Silver! Some horses they got, huh? I could sure use that whiten. That pain ain't to be sneezed at, neither. Look at them travel. Get them up, Scout! Sheriff, what's the matter? That one fellow, he's masked, and his pards are redskin. Well, doggone. You think they're two of Buck's men? It'd just be our luck. Come on, boy. There ain't nothing we can do about it now if they are. Look at it. Stranded here without horses, water, grub, or even guns. Uh, if I ever lay my hands on Buck Wheeler again, Hold I'll... Hold until we see who these hombres are. Oh, 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 I tell the fellows you're a deputy. You're both from Millsburg. You know us all right. Well, what happened to you? What are you doing out here afoot? You're almost a week's travel from home. Uh, look, mister. Well? You, uh, you're not part of Buck Wheeler's gang, are you? Is he in this district? You think we'd be afoot if he wasn't? He stole your horses? Stole our horses, badges, and every bit of identification we had. And he brought us clear over here and left us to walk. And if you ain't friends of his... We want to get to Mesquite City just as fast as we can. It'll maybe mean the life of a fellow in the Mesquite City jail. What's that? Stranger, there ain't time to argue. I'll make a bargain with you. You don't have to argue. Here, give me your hand. Huh? If you have to get to Mesquite City, we'll take you there. Uh, you mean that? Come on, up with you. Chuck, you can ride behind Tonto. Come on, Sheriff. What are we waiting for? Stranger, outlaws are not your white. And you got my word for it, you won't lose by it. You can tell me what happened while we ride. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come on. Early that evening, Sheriff Sayers was seated behind his desk when the door burst open and two dusty figures entered his office. Then... What the... Sheriff Sayers? That's me, but what the... Sheriff Wilson from Millsburg. Where's Jacobs? He's still here? Anybody show up today claiming to be me? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not so doggone fast. Where's Jacobs? Who are you? This is my deputy. We've come here If you're Wilson, where's your badge? What you got on you to prove who you are? You think I'd just take the word of anybody that comes along claiming to be lawmen? Our badges and papers were stole. Buck Wheeler got them. He did, huh? Gee, don't you believe me? Oh, I ain't saying it ain't so. I'd just like to have some kind of proof. By heavens, I'll bet Buck was here. Was he? Is Jacobs gone? Now, wait, fellas. I'll tell you what I'll do. You both claim to be lawmen. Well, as such, you know, blame well, I can't ask the questions like them. Lesson you can prove you got a right to get answered. We can prove it if you give us time. You'll have your chance in just a minute if you'll wait. Huh? Uh, there's a fellow down the street says he knows you. Wait till I bring him here. And if he says you're Sheriff Wilson, why, then you can ask all the questions you want to, and I'll be pleased to answer. Then blast it, make it fast. Get a move on. Uh, won't take me but a few seconds. Oh, gone, did you? Sheriff, this looks mighty suspicious to me. I know what my guess would be. Yeah? I'd guess Buck has been here just as I figured he'd be. And if he had... With our papers and badges, he got Jacobs. He'll try to make Jacobs talk. And if he don't, he'll kill him. Yeah, he'll kill him anyhow. When this fellow the sheriff went for identifies us, we'll get Sayers to make up a posse and we'll try to trail him. Ain't nothing else left to do. Yeah, but just... Up with your hands and keep them off. What the... Hey, listen. I know you, Buck Wheeler. I can tell a crook every time. Me, Wheeler? Where's that fellow you said notice? There weren't nobody. That's why I was too slick for you. I just went to get the boys. The officer surrounded. Make a break for it and you'll get blasted. What in thunder is this? The end of you fellas and a nice reward for me. Boys, grab them. We're locking them up. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. When Tonto, watching from outside the sheriff's office, saw what happened to Wilson and his deputy, he hastened to rejoin the Lone Ranger just outside of town. Whoa, look out, whoa! What is it, Tonto? There's trouble. Jail him, lawman. Sheriff Wilson? Ah, uh, think him Buck Wheeler. Then Wilson was right. Buck must have been here. And if he was here, then he's got the marshal. Ah. Uh, and he can't let Jacobs escape alive. He must have learned too much while he pretended to be a member of Buck's gang. The marshal's mouth will have to be shut. That right. Kimasabe, do you think you could pick up that trail at night? Which way they go? And the only way they could have gone is toward the hills. And the odds are ten to one, they stayed away from the regular trails. Ah. Uh-huh. To carry out their deception, they'd have had to leave town in the direction of Millsburg. They wouldn't have cut away from the trail until they were out of sight. Uh-huh. Now start from here and parallel the Millsburg trail on the side toward the hills. If you find a place where three horses left the trail, it's likely to be them. What you do? I'm afraid of what can happen in town, Tonto. What mean them? Buck Wheeler's been wanted for a long time. The men in Mesquite City may not be willing for the law to take its course. They may take the law into their own hands. They know as long as Buck's alive, there's a chance his gang will rescue him. It's happened in other parts of the country. Oh. Uh, they believe Sheriff Wilson is Buck Wheeler. Maybe lynch him. It's possible. I can't take the chance they won't be lynched. From what I've heard of Sheriff Sayers, I doubt he'd have the courage to oppose a mob. What you do? I'm going to break Wilson and chuck out. Me help him? No. You hunt for Buck's trail, Tonto. Uh, and if you find it, keep after them. But mark the trail as you go, so it'll be easy to read. Me do. I've got an idea, Tonto. And if it works, we'll free Wilson and his deputy. Save Jacobs and capture Wheeler. Uh, now get going. Mark the trail well. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Poor old fellow, we've got work to do. Come on, boy. Come on. jail in Mesquite City was well guarded. Four men lounged outside, one at each corner of the building. While inside, the sheriff himself sat where he could keep the cells in view. Suddenly, one of the guards opened the rear door, calling to him. The sheriff walked past the cells, paying no attention to the protests of his prisoners. At Doggone you, sheriff! You'll hear about this. Blast your talk to us, why don't you? Scared, are you? Hurry it up, sheriff. What's the trouble? We, we've always been friends, ain't we, sheriff? That's a fool question to ask. Of course we have. Now say what you have to say and get back to your post. Well, what I mean is, Sheriff, you wouldn't want to see me killed, would you? Say, what are you getting at? Well, then, if you don't want me killed, don't holler. There's a masked gent right behind me with a gun against my side. What in the world Keep are you... Keep still, can't you? Take it easy, Sheriff. Mask. Step back. Close the door. Call out, and it'll be the worst for both of you. How'd you get the drop on my guard? Gosh, I couldn't help it, Sheriff. He sneaked up on me from the shadows just like an engine. He was there before I knew it. Uh, you careless idiot. That's enough talk. Start walking. But now don't you... Keep going. Uh, what do you want? This is far enough. Unlock this cell. Hi, it's you. No noise, Wilson. I'll have you out of here in a moment. This ain't Wilson. This here's Buck Wheeler. Unlock the door. I tell Unlock you it. The... I'll hunt you down for this, mister. Nobody yet has ever got away with a stunt like this and not paid for it. You're being saved from the results of a bad mistake, Sayers, even though you don't know it. Come ahead, Wilson. You too, Chuck. All right. You there. Uh, Me? Get inside. One of the guards should look in. He'll see somebody in the cell. Oh, do something, Sheriff. You'll be released soon enough. Now, Sheriff, listen to me. Yeah? The four of us are going outside together. Head for that small grove of trees to the left of the rear door. I have horses waiting there. Now, look if here. If anyone huh? calls out, tell them everything's all right. To stay where he is. It's too dark in the rear of the jail for us to be recognized. I tell Obey you... orders, and you go free, Sheriff. Disobey, and we take you along. I, I ain't going to make trouble yet. See that you don't. But I'm warning you, mister. I'll be on your trail. I hope that you are. Now start moving. <laughs> Forcing the sheriff to lead the way, the Lone Ranger, Sheriff Wilson and Chuck, reached the grove where the masked man had two extra mounts waiting. 
Not until they were in the saddle did the masked man give Sheriff Sayers permission to leave. On your way, Sayers. You're not needed anymore. You won't shoot me in the back, will you? On your way. Yeah. Mister, we won't forget all you've done for us. Come on. He'll give the alarm in a second. We'd better hike here. One moment. Hi, right, men. Buck Wheeler's gone. A masked man broke him out. Get your horses. See your gun. We're following after him. All right. You hear him? What are we waiting for? We give them a chance to saddle up. Huh? You Rocco? We want them to follow. To follow close enough to see our trail. But that... I'll explain later. They're about ready. Let's go. Come on, Silver. Silver! As the Lone Ranger had hoped, a posse was rapidly formed that swept out of Mesquite City, determined to catch the masked rider. In the meantime, the real Buck Wheeler, with Jem and their prisoner, rode on until they reached their hideout. There, Jacobs was tied against a tree while Buck stood over him. You ain't got a chance, Jacobs. You might as well talk. We'll get everything out of you we want to know sooner or later. Go to blazes. We know you're a United States Marshal. You had us believing you was a crook long enough for you to find where we was hit out and who's in our bunch. Now, what I aim to know is who you've been reporting to. Nobody. Yeah? You expect us to believe that? I don't care what you believe. I'll call some of the boys over, boss. They'll work him over. No, I'll leave him to me. I ain't never yet seen the hombre I couldn't handle when I put my mind to it. Well, I just... You know how I found out about you, Jacobs? How? The time we had that raid planned at Mesquite City. There was no reason for you letting yourself get caught. You not only got caught, but being caught, you spoiled our plans. Sort of sorry now that that happened, ain't you? I said go to blazes. Yeah, that's an idea. Hmm? Jim. Yeah, boss? Take a walk over there to the fire. Pick me out a nice blazing piece of wood. Bring it back with you. <laughs> yeah, I savvy, boss. Yeah. Sure. I'll have it right away. What are you going to do? <laughs> Can't you guess? You dirty skunk. You going to talk? You had my answer. Well, you're stubborn now, but you won't be for long. You ain't the first fella to have the notion he wouldn't talk when I asked him. But I don't recollect that any of them stayed stubborn for long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Get, get that away from me. You mind yet? No. Well then, you wouldn't dare. You, you couldn't. Watch me. You stop him. What the? Red kid. Grab that fellow. Get him. I got him. I got him. Hold on. Give me a hand with that varmint, fellow. A matter of nature. Bring him here. Here. Huh. Well, it's a redskin, all right. What's your handle, Injun? Where'd you come from? Me not say him. You won't talk neither, huh? <laughs> now that's just fine. I'm going to have more fun than I bargained for. Jim, tie the critter up. Yeah. Before I'm through, <laughs> they'll both be trying to outshout the other. <laughs> the Lone Ranger and his two companions followed the trail that Tonto had blazed for them. Come on, Silver! Get up there! Get up there! The trail turns to the south. Follow me. Where was you? Just lead the way. The posse's still behind us. You can just see him dropping that last hill. Good. Come on, boy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Never gaining but never losing ground, Sheriff Sayers' posse maintained its pursuit of the masked man. The chase continued for miles, and the posse was forced to walk its horses to rest them. The three men they followed did the same thing. The sheriff's men reached the hill finally saw the dim glow of a campfire in the distance. Uh, there's a fire ahead. See it, fellas? Yeah, sure. That's the hideout, sure as thunder. You think there's enough of us to take them? Sure there is. It's worth a try. They'll be hearing us soon. Whip up your horses, fellas. Don't give that gang a chance to get away. Run them down. Everybody get their guns ready. Yeah. It's not far to go now, boys. After them. After them. Get up, get up, get up. In Buck Wheeler's camp, the outlaw and his men were startled by a sudden shout. Well, who's this? A masked man. There's more with him. Shoot him down. Shoot him down. Watch out for the horses. Here's the ambulance. Stand clear. Watch out. Watch out. 
If you try to make a break for her. But I'm not. Look there. Look against that tree. It's Jacob, Sheriff, and a redskin. Here's Buck Wheeler. You believed him to be Sheriff Wilson. He's what he claimed to be. What's he doing here? I tell you, you were captured by these fellows. Why isn't he tied like the others? Chuck, release Tonto and Jacobs. Sure. I let you and your men follow us here, Sayers. We could have escaped you at any time. I wanted you on hand to round up Wheeler's gang. Maybe he's telling the truth, Sheriff. Didn't you notice him and these others slowed up every time we did? Look at their horses. They ain't hardly fagged at all. Uh, I don't know. You'd what... better, Sayers. If you can't get the truth through your head even now, you're going to be in a mighty tough fix. Here's Jacob. See, you'll see to that. He's a marshal, just like I told you. Well, you, you fellas will have to go back to town with me and stay there till I can make sure. Well, that's fair you. enough. Round up the rest of these men and take them with you. You've cleaned up the entire outfit, Sayers. I you want to know. Stand where you are. I'll show you. No. You're not hurt. Now hold that fellow. You're all right, Tonto? Me not hurt. You get them here fast. They're scout. Let's go. Uh, now hold on. Not so fast. You got a heap of questions to answer yourself, stranger. Come on, Silver. Get them up, scout. Hey, hold on or we'll shoot. You shoot that fellow, Sayers, and you'll be the sorriest fellow that ever lived. And that's a promise. Oh, you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. (laughs) ¶¶